I'm trying to get this foam on the tripod. So my hands, y'all got to bear with me here. I'm trying to get this thing up on the tripod. I don't want it to fall down. So bear with me. Bear with me, y'all. Y'all bear with me. Hey, hey. I don't know. I'm trying to get this thing on the tripod so I don't want it to fall down. But I hope y'all read the title. What's up? What's up, everybody? And I'm going to try my best to hurry up and get into this recipe real quick. You know what I'm saying? Because I know a lot of people get anxious and they got a lot of stuff to do. So they don't want to hear a lot of talking and stuff like that on the um, YouTube live, whatever. But I'm going to try to hurry up and give myself at least around about five minutes to see if I can get a few people in this here. But while the five minutes is up, I want to say what's up to Jeff. Hey, Jeff Sr. I want to say what's up to Shanita. What up, girl? You hungry? I'm hungry too, girl. I'm hungry too. What's up, Corey? How you doing? Joe, I see you. King Fresh is in the mother freaking building, buddy. Look here. What's up, King Fresh? We got something going, um, going on, bro. I'm going to set something up for us to do that um, collaboration together. You know what I'm saying? So that's what's up. Tyler, Tyler Fire and Smoke Kitchen. Look, y'all, this is what I want y'all to do. If y'all haven't done this already, please go over and check out Tyler's Fire and Smoke Cooking. You know what I'm saying? We just did a collaboration Saturday, and when he did his beef short ribs, I'm telling you, y'all, they look fantastic, look phenomenal. Please go over and check my man out. I'm telling you right now, right now, right now, the brother's throwing down. All right, so Tyler, man, maybe in the future, bro, we could do another one. I see my girl Step in the building. Stephanie, hey, sis, I see you, girl. How you been, Stephanie? I hope everything is okay with you. And who else we got? I seen Dwayne up in the building. Dwayne Randolph, how you doing, brother? How you doing? How you doing? Yes, Lord, I see you. Tammy Thomas, what up, Tammy? How you doing? Yes, I see you. Asia, hey, Asia. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Ms. Hogg is in the building. Orange County. Where Orange County are you from? California or, or North Carolina, Orange County? Which Orange County are you from? I see you. Natalie. Hey, Natalie. What's going on? Mrs. Crazy says a cool girl. I like how you changed that up too, Natalie. I ain't going to lie to you. I ain't going to lie to you. What's going on, Natalie? Miss Crazy. Sexy cool. Let me grab me a bowl, y'all. Hold on real quick. Let me grab me a bowl. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let me see. Where my bowl at? Uh, where my bowl at? Got to grab a bowl. Hold on, y'all. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. All right, like I said, I'm experimenting, y'all, with this shrimp gumbo. I've uh, never, let me be honest with you, and I ain't going to sit here and try to fake the funk, tell a lie, and everything else. I've never made shrimp gumbo before in my whole entire life. But I'm in the kitchen experimenting. I'm like this right quick, y'all. You will never be, you know what I'm saying, as good as a cook as you think you are if you don't never experiment. So I'm experimenting. We got two more minutes trying to see what who all we can get up in the building is like 98 of y'all right now was 100 couple people dropped off please hit that um hit that like button hit the like button please y'all hit the like button somebody gave somebody gave and i'm gonna say these words but i'm in the kitchen y'all gonna have to forgive me for real for real auntie auntie how you doing auntie how you doing if y'all don't know who um auntie maddie is man tv y'all please go over to auntie maddie's tv um, become a follower of Animatic TV and look here, y'all, for all of us YouTubers, we're trying to get monetized. The only way that could happen, if we if we just go over and start sharing some time with one another. How can you share time? It's easy. The only way you can share time is watch these videos. So please go over to Auntie Maddie's on TV. Watch a few of her videos. If you don't want to watch them, just let them play. Go use the bathroom. Go take a shower. Go walk your dog. Go do whatever. Let a playlist run. That's how we help out one another, man, so that we can get monetized and everything else like that. I'm all about supporting fellow YouTubers. That's what it should all be about you feel what i'm saying so auntie tv i want to say this real quick because i only got a few seconds left um giving and shall be giving unto you good measure press down shaking together running through with the same measure you meet shall be measuring to you again and i pray that you and uncle will receive tremendously the abundance of blessing that god has bestowed upon you thank you and i love you now let me get into this here i'm gonna make some rice real quick hold on y'all hold on 
All right, so this is what I'm gonna do. Since I'm experimenting, this ain't gonna be no big meal or nothing like that. No, this is just an experimental meal. All right, so what I'm doing right now is I got some rice and I only wanna cook just one cup of rice because like I said, I'm experimenting. This could be a, a, a epic go or it could be an epic fail. You understand? So let me show you, I'm gonna pan this down real quick so y'all don't have to be watching my ugly face all the time. And you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, I'm just saying. But let me see if I can get y'all down here. All right, so this is what I got. I'm trying to get my camera straight. I don't know if I can, more just ain't cooperating y'all. It ain't cooperating, but anyway. So I got one cup. This is a half a cup right here. So I'm just gonna put two of these in here in this big old bowl man one cup of rice for a big old bowl yes all right i'm gonna put that in there now i don't know a lot of y'all should know if you don't know you will know by now i hate rice that ain't seasoned so i always season my rice i put a little black pepper in that you know what i'm saying just a little all right and then i like this here spain spices garlic and herb if y'all guys ain't ain't used to um don't even know what who spain spices or or, or, or what they're about. I'm telling you, they got a website which you can go to. It's called um, SpainSpices.com. Let me see if I can find it on here, 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 here. Well, if you just type in SpainSpices.com, there it is. There it is right there. SpainSpices.com. And go and see what kind of products they sell. I've been using this man for a very long time. If y'all ain't, you know, if, if you haven't been watching my YouTube channel, y'all should already know this is definitely going to, this will always be in my arsenal for seasoning. So I'm telling you right now, some of the recipes that I do have, y'all need to try this stuff. So I put in some of this here garlic and herb in my own um, rice. And like you say, with this stuff, man, I love it for, for a few reasons, because if you want to eat healthy, you can definitely eat healthy with this here stuff, man, because it's good and it's low on sodium. You don't have to worry about no um, MSGs and all the other kind of stuff in there because you won't find it. It's very low on sodium. You know what I'm saying? Good stuff, y'all. So I got some black pepper in that. Um, along with that, I'm going to add some of this here Spain spices, spices to my rice. I, like I said, I don't like it bland and all the other kind of stuff. And I'm going to throw some butter in that real quick. Let me put some water in that. Hold on. All right, so we all know for every cup of rice, you always want to add two cups of water. So that's what I added in that. And I put a little bit more just for good measure, you know what I mean? Just a little tad bit. And then I also like to take some of this here butter, you know what I mean? And um, y'all going to be like, oh, he pinched off his butter. Man, yeah, I did. Just put a little butter in that, you know what I'm saying? And now I just want to put this in the microwave. I want to put this in the all right, I want y'all to forgive me because my camera froze for some odd reason. I don't know, man. It is what it is, but I'm going to continue to go on. So I'm going to put this in the microwave. Follow me to my dirty microwave if you can. I don't know if you can see my dirty microwave. Uh, don't, don't judge me by how my microwave is on the inside, but I'm going to put it in the microwave. And I just want this to be going for at least around about a good 15 minutes. Matter of fact, I'm going to clear that and I'm going to give it a good 18 minutes. It ain't going to kill nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's going to kill that rice. It'll be me once it's going down. Now we're going to go ahead and get into this here. All right. So we got the rice um, in the mic. I'm going to put the rice back in the cabinet. Like I said, y'all, I'm experimenting. That's all I'm doing right now. I'm experimenting. I'm going to get y'all down here so y'all don't have to be looking at my tripod leg and stuff like that. I know y'all like my tripod leg, but hey, it's all good. You feel me? I know you like my beautiful tripod leg. But anyway, look, y'all, check this one out. So y'all know right now that I like seasonings. I like play on seasonings and stuff like that, man. And I got a couple of seasonings that I'm definitely going to be trying in the future, whatever. One of these seasonings right here, man, um, yummy, um, a good taste of New Orleans. Um, I'm telling you right now, man, I'm going to try this. I never tried this before, so this will definitely be my first time seafood seasoning. And I found these guys on YouTube. I'm not on YouTube. I'm sorry, y'all, but Instagram, okay? And I'm going to put a link below where you can definitely find them now. 
here is the website that you could go to if you want to check these guys out and find out what their product is about. I don't know if you can see it real quick and make sure I get out of that. You know what I'm saying? If you can see it, I'm, I'm blurred up. Let me, let me get a little bit. Okay, right there. If you can see it, there's a phone number if you want to call and ask them about their products. I might have to clean my lens. Let me do that right now. Hold on, y'all. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. I'm clean my lens. All right, now, my apologies. Can y'all hear me now? Can you hear me now? Am I loud and clear? Please tell me you can hear me now. No sound? You, can, you can't hear me? Can you hear me? Let me go back. I got to do this again. For those of y'all who didn't hear me, that was my apologies. You know what I'm saying? I'm hitting buttons over here. Never thought I had buttons on here before, but you can now hear me. Let me go again and say this. Let me hear it just in case some of y'all didn't hear me. And I know that this thing right here is something special, but there's 110 of y'all in here right now. One dropped off. Hit that like button if you haven't. Let me start over again. This product, which is black owned. This is a black owned company. I'm telling y'all right now. This is a black owned company. This is a black owned company. And I'm saying this because there's a lot of um, African-American entrepreneurs that's out here, man. They're doing their thing. They're on their grind. And I love just helping out our black African-American um, um, companies out, man, especially when we're dealing with food. And I'm telling y'all right now, man, if you could support, 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 support all the way support. You feel me? So now, like I said, this I'm trying out for the first time. This is yummy. A taste of New Orleans, which they originated out of New Orleans, seafood seasoning, and I found this group, I found this group on, um, well not a group, I found this company on um, Instagram, and once again, I said right here, this is a phone number you can call them if you want to ask them about their information, and they also have um, a, 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 a online um, where you can message them and talk to them about their product, whatever the case may be, for more information. Um, yummy, a taste of New Orleans at gmail.com. You know what I'm saying? Or you could do either or. You could call them on that phone number, which is area code 504-377-1483. You feel me? Contact them if you want to find out more about their products. Go on Instagram and check out some of their um, pictures and photos and stuff like that, man. And you can message these guys. That's one product. The other one I do have, which is the blackened seasoning. You know what I'm saying? And like we say, look here, y'all. No MSG. A lot of us, man, we swear by MSG are killers. We, we say that junk will kill you to take you up out of here. For those of y'all who are MSG conscience, you know what I'm saying? This is the stuff for you right here. Like we say, a lot of people use this on catfish, um, salmon, shrimp, all kinds of seafood or all kinds of chicken. But you don't have to just use it on meat. You can use this on vegetables and other recipes as well. I'm telling you, man, black and seasoning can go uh, go with dang near anything. Put them on your potatoes. Put some of the black and seasoning even in your string beans. You feel me? But anyway, y'all. So this is what I'm telling you. This is an, an experiment. An experiment only. This ain't no recipe. I'm experimenting. So I got a few of these here, um, large shrimp. 
that I want to go ahead and um, season up real quick. While I'm doing that, I'm going to cut this skillet on, skillet on. Now, this is going to be like a, like a just experimentation um, um, shrimp gumbo. You understand what I'm saying? I know a lot of y'all put all this and that in your gumbo. Don't come at me. Don't come at me. I'm telling you, don't come at me, y'all. Please don't come at me. I know y'all be putting all your but all your, your 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 veggies and your tomatoes and all this and all that and all this and all that. I ain't going about that manner today. I'm just want to do something that's simple, plain Jane, and use whatever I got in my refrigerator. And I need to hurry up because I I'm just talking and rambling. I just need to speed the process up real quick but i'm gonna season this up with just this here i'm gonna use the seafood seasoning but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use both i'm gonna use just a little bit because i never tried these products you understand so i want to be careful i want to be careful now when i look at let's look at this right quick let's look at this let's look at this see what they got in here all right so you can see what is messed up Pretty good. You can see the salt. They got nice salt flavors in there. You know what I'm saying? You can see the herbs. You can see the peppers. You can see the other little seasonings that they got in there. So this ain't no bull crap type of seasoning that they put together. You can see this stuff. So I'm going to put a little bit of that in there. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be heavy handed. Y'all know how I get. I get heavy handed at times. And I'm going to smell this seasoning. And it smell pretty good. The seafood seasoning smell pretty good. And I also want to use some of this here blackened seasoning. My first time ever using this, y'all. First time ever using a product. And I'm doing a, a little live experimentation with some shrimp gumbo. I want to see how this works. Now, this, it is a little bit different from the seafood seasoning. Because you probably won't be able to tell it on that, that end, but I can tell it on this end. And I can see that, that it's a little bit more darker than the seafood um, seasoning that they do have. Now, this is definitely a true and a true blackened seasoning. So I'm going to give this a try as well. I'm mixing the two up. You know what I'm saying? Some people might be like, man, you don't have to do all of that. You don't have to put that in there and this in there or whatever, but I'm going to put it in there. So, I'm going to give this a little toss. That my grandbaby in the background. She feeling good right now. She feeling good. <laughs> uh, you good, Ray Ray. You good. See, she mad, Ray. Girl, they all stay mad at the time. They all stay mad. It's 124 y'all in here right now. So, I got the shrimp mixed up with the seasonings. Okay? Shrimp is mixed up with the seasoning. The next thing I'm going to do right now, let me cut these veggies up real quick. It's going to be quick, y'all. I'm telling you, it's going to be quick. Let me wipe my hand. You had a lot of viewers. What's this, on YouTube? Yeah, doing a live. Okay. I, instead of making a video, I said, I'm going to go live this morning. Hey, y'all. All right. Okay, okay. I hope I got a green cup in here, but I ain't got no green cup in here, no. I'm butt out. I do. You got I everything for me. All right. I need an onion. I need an onion. I'm coming, y'all. Hold on. I'm coming. All right, here we go. Now, what I'm doing now, y'all, is cleaning out the fridge. I'm cleaning out the fridge. All right, so I'm cleaning out the fridge. Well, what do you mean, Ray? You cleaning out the fridge? I got some stuff in my fridge that needs to go right now. Hold on. Hold on. Everything y'all getting into right now is a live. This is a live experimentation. You understand what I'm saying? So luckily I had a green pepper in my fridge and I got to get rid of it. I do. I do got to get rid of it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all probably got some stuff in y'all fridge too that you might have to get rid of. But since I'm only using a little bit of stuff, I ain't going to need this whole onion for this here. So I'm just going to use that and I'm going to put the rest of this onion up 
until I'm going to need it again. I'm going to need it sometime soon. You feel me? All right. Another way, man, where you can get this paper off of these onions, because I tell you, this, this is a job all by itself. No joke, y'all. No joke. No joke. Give me a trash bag real quick. All right. So, you can get all these little papers out the way. Like I say, it's experimentation. I'm just going to cut these up a little bit. Don't judge my cutting skills. Because I ain't into that right now. I'm trying to hurry up. Because I, I know y'all got things to do. And I don't want to hold y'all. As long I don't want to hold y'all for nothing in the world. So, we got these onions cut that's it that's it we ain't got to go all like that move that move that to the side we're gonna move that to the side all right let me wash this off real quick i just want to cut this up Ooh, yeah we gotta hurry up and get rid of that yeah 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 that's why i say we're using we're using what we got right now and i ain't gonna need all this here bell pepper either so I probably just end up using two, or you might as well say a half of the bell pepper, cut away some of this here membrane. And while I'm cutting that away, I'm gonna cut these away too. Cause if um this turn out to be, you know, good, I might end up. Okay, babe, I see you when you get back. I might just use a um end up doing this again. Just gonna give me a couple more shrimps and do the recipe again, but I might add a little bit more ingredients then. All right, so I'm gonna cut these here into little dice. Some of y'all got things to do. Some of y'all got to go to the grocery store. Some of y'all got to pick up your kids. But if your kids are at home learning on the computer, y'all just wishing y'all had a break. <laughs> but I totally get it. You know what I'm saying? I get it. I understand. My my daughter came home from um, Virginia last night. She she um, ended up surprising me and my wife, and I didn't know she was coming down. But hey, we keep a house full anyway. You know what I'm saying? So it's always a pleasure to have your kids in the house. But mine grown. Oh, phone is about to go down. It's about to go down. But that's enough of the green pepper right there. That's enough of the green pepper. Let me get this out of here. New Orleans. I want to say what's up to the people in New Orleans, Louisiana. If y'all from Cajun country, you know what I mean? If y'all from Creole country, go ahead and chime in right now in the comment section. Let me know if you're from New Orleans, Louisiana, Cajun, Creole country. So I got some stalks of celery. That I'm gonna use because the video coming Saturday, and I hope y'all tune in Saturday around five o'clock Eastern time, because I got a video that I got coming up, and I had to use some of these here celeries. Let me wash this celery off real quick. Hold on. Oh, no. All right. So I didn't want to prep none of this stuff up, y'all. I'm sorry. Y'all got to forgive me, but what I'm, I'm going to do, I ain't going to need both of these stocks. I don't know why I did that, but I'm going to take, um, I like that stock. Keep that one because of the leafy. I'm going to put these back in the bag. But like I said, I got a video coming up Saturday, and I had to use some celery. And I hope you guys tune in at 5 o'clock Eastern time for this here video. So with this celery, I'm just going to go ahead and just hit it just a little bit on the bias angle, you know what I mean? And then I might just give it a little rough chop after that, depends on how much celery I want to put in this. So I'm thinking that'll be enough right there. I'm thinking, yeah, that'll be enough. We ain't got to go all out like that. I'm trying to speed this thing up because I know y'all got things to do. And I just want to give this a rough little chop, just a rough little chop with the celery. Now, for those of y'all who don't know, which I do know that some of y'all do know because you're in the cooking world. This is what they call the Holy Trinity. The onions, bell pepper, and the celery. They call that the, the Trinity. And we're going to need this in order to make a gumbo. There's no way in the world 
you can cook a gumbo or anything that's Cajun or even Creole at that point, you know what I'm saying, and not use the Holy Trinity. I'm sorry. I'm just as Southern as I could possibly be, but I don't want to disrespect anybody that's Cajun or Creole by not using the Holy Trinity in a dish that I'm going to call um, from New Orleans. So y'all got to forgive me. If, like I said, there are some ingredients that some people use where they might add in some tomatoes or they might add in carrots. I don't know, whatever else they want to put in um, into their gumbos to make it stand out as far as the color, the flavor, profile, and everything else. But I'm keeping this here plain, Jane, and simple. I ain't trying to do nothing spectacular. I got my shrimp. I got my trinity. So the next thing that I want to do, y'all, all right, let me bring you over here. Like I said... I'm only using these two ingredients as far as seasoning goes, but we're going to see when we get down that line. Y'all ready? Let's go. All right. So over here, I'm bringing y'all to my skillet. I got my skillet on high heat right now. It's on high heat. While that skillet is heating up, I'm going to grab me, um, let me see which one. How do I want to go about this? Butter? Do I want to go with some... You know what? I'm gonna keep it plain. Let me go grab. Let me go grab me some olive oil. I was gonna use some butter in this here, but I'm gonna put some hop, hop um, searing points on this thing. So I'm gonna grab me some olive oil and hit it with that. All right. So I'll be right back. I got me some olive oil, and y'all thought I forgot, but hold on. Before I do that, while this thing is heating up, it's heating up, let me bring y'all back over here for one minute, because y'all think I forgot. Hold on. I got you. Hold on. Now, one thing that I don't have is andouille sausage. I'm sorry, y'all. My wife bought this um, about a few days ago. She wanted me to put this on the grill for her. If those of y'all who seen me put those burgers, cook those burgers, and I did that um, Big Mac, that thing was huge. That thing was humongous. That thing was crazy, ridiculous. She bought this and wanted me to put it on that skillet, that griddle. So, man, that thing was huge, humongous, and everything else. I'm just going to put half of this back on up in here. Cause I don't know how this thing might turn out. If it turn out good, I might end up pulling it out again. So I'm just gonna cook up some of this here smoked sausage with it. Now, like we say, man, it's supposed to use andouille if you try to keep it traditional or whatever the case may be. Connecting sausage on, on work and all that. Sometimes, man, they will also put like some ham in it. You know what I mean? Um, into their little gumbos and stuff like that. Well, I'm thinking about some, y'all gotta forgive me. I'm thinking about, man, some red beans and rice, y'all. I'm thinking about, woo! I'm thinking about some red beans and rice. Lord have mercy, Jesus. Y'all do red beans and rice, you could do the same thing that I'm doing right now, man. You know what I mean? But, Lord, man, red beans and rice. I need to stop. Since that's all the little sauce, I'm gonna put a little bit more. That's it. I ain't gonna put no more sauces in there. Wait, <laughs> all right, man, I'm gonna go and put this I don't even know why I'm playing. I might just go and put some to the side and nibble on it and just nibble on it. All right, so we got that. We got the sausage, which is smoked sausage. And don't come for me because this is not, you know what I'm saying? This is not the sausage that's traditionally used. But since I got it in the fridge, I'm going to use it anyway. I'm sorry, but that's just what's going down. That's just what's going down. All right, so now we're going to go over here to the skillet. We're going to the skillet. Sorry I got y'all bouncing around. Let me see. Let me see. Like I said, I'm, I want to read the comments, y'all. But since I'm trying to speed this thing up because some people got things to do, y'all going to have to forgive me at this particular point in time. You know what I'm saying? So um, here we go. I got the skillet, which she is heating up a little bit. And I got some of this here olive oil. I'm just going to take a little bit of this olive oil. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Now, clarified butter, you can use clarified butter if you like, and I need to make me some of that up. Now, that dude over there named Daddy Cooks, Phil, Phil Riddick, he got a video over there about making um, ghee, clarified butter, if you guys want to go over there and check him out and see how, 
how that butter is really used. So go over there and check them out. But I'm going to use some of this here, olive oil. Don't come at me, y'all. Don't come at me for using olive oil. I'm telling you, please, Lord. All right? All right. So I just wanted to spread that around in my black skillet. You know what I'm saying? Spread that around that black skillet. Get on up in there. All right, so this is just a little test. I'm taking a piece of onion, see if it's gonna sizzle. I'm gonna wait for that baby right there to sizzle before I hit it in there with that shrimp. While that thing is trying to sizzle right quick. Stan Smith, I see you, Stan Smith. How you doing? How you doing? Therapist, 84, how you doing? He say, take your time. They can re-watch the video later. All right, all right, all right. Love, what up, love? How you doing? How you doing? Tina, so blessed is in the building. What's going on, Tina, so blessed? We got Miss Green in the building. How you doing, Miss Green? How you doing? And then we got Chopping and Grilling with KC in the building. What's up, Dwayne? What's up? up deborah hey deborah how you doing is we doing this right now all right she doing it right now who else we got right here we got um over 50 and fabuloso hey girl that's my girl right there boy i love that woman right there i swear to god she's been with me for a long time all right so here we go let's try this piece of shrimp we're gonna put that on up in there y'all put that up in there get us a good little sear get it on up in there get down you know, do your thing, make it rain, do your thing, make it sing. Mm-hmm. Get on up in there, baby. Get on up in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We're going to try not to disturb these things right here. We're going to leave them alone. We're going to leave them alone. I'm going to leave them alone. I'm going to leave them alone. But while I'm leaving these alone, I'm just going to rinse this little styrofoam away plate out because I don't want to mess up no more style phones y'all hey these things cost money let me go to the sink I'll be back all right got my styrofoam cleaned out ready for the um to take these out whenever they do their thing you feel me all right Man, we chilling, y'all. How's everybody day going? Doing? It's 165 people in the room right now. Come on in the room. Come on in the room. We're doing experimenting with some shrimp gumbo. I hope this thing turn out okay, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. So we're gonna try to give it at least about one minute on that side. We're going to flip them. I'm flipping them, y'all. I, I, I just got to flip them. Because they're going to do a little bit more cooking as we go. You know what I mean? And as you can see, they start to curl up. And I don't want that tail to touch that, that head. You know what I mean? So we're going to go ahead and flip them. We don't want to have these things tough and rubbery. Because we got to do a little bit more cooking. And I just want to give it at least about one more minute on this side. Just one more minute. I wish you guys could see this color on this on these shrimps right now. You can't see it so good because you were looking on that screen. You're looking at your screen. But right here in live person, man, I swear to God, it looks so good. And these shrimps smell so good. So I'm telling you right now, by the smell of these here, this seasoning, hey, this is all right right here. And this here, black and seasoning, this is all right right now. From what I see, and from what I, from what I smell, it smells good. Yes, sir. Mm-hmm. And this is what I'm doing tonight. Like I say, I ain't even trying to make no video. I'm just going to go ahead and cook. I got me some filet fish right here that I'm going to use that seasoning on. You know what I mean? So, it's almost like a seafood Thursday for me. You know what I mean? But I'm experimenting with these. I'm experimenting. Let's see. But like I say... Yeah, I'm gonna take these out. I'm gonna take these out. Uh huh. They're looking too good right now. I'm gonna take these out. I'm gonna take them out, y'all. If y'all look, if, if you say I took them out too early, comment below. If you think I took them out on time, comment below. If you think I took them out too early, hit one. If you think I took them out on time, hit two. I just want to see what y'all say. Come on. Come on. Let me. I just want to see what y'all say. 
I just want to see what y'all say. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Let me just see what you say. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in here on this hot skillet. And I want these, I want these right here, these smoked sausages to do their thing before we get foolish with everything else. I don't want to be foolish with nothing else. If y'all understand what I'm saying. Let me do that. Yeah. Get them spread it out. Come on. Come on, sausages. Don't act up. Y'all Y'all start acting up. We got company here. They're acting up, man. And I just hate it when we got company. You got sausages don't don't want to cooperate. They just want to show off and show out. You know what I mean? I hate it when that happens, man. You just... To discipline your sausage at time. If you don't love your sausage, something wrong. You better discipline your sausage. When your sausage don't want to act up, you better you let them know who's in control. That's what's wrong with society these days. We let our little sausages run the house. We let our little sausages talk back to us. But we don't love our sausages. We need to get our sausages back where they need to be. I ain't gonna lie, when my mama used to cook sausages, man, she ain't never let her sausages talk back because I already knew. When my mama looked at her sausages, them things would straighten up real quick. I mean, in a hurry. You know what I'm saying? Straighten up real quick. My mama would say, huh, don't you curl up on me. And when she say that, them sausages would be straight as possible. They just get straight, you know? Okay, y'all don't know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna leave that one alone. Anyway. Back to cooking these sausages. I'm going to leave this one alone. But back in the days, mamas had sausages locked down. They knew the voice of mama. When mama say, sausages, it's 530. You need to have y'all tails in the house. Sausages say, hey, look, whoever the sausages was playing with, sausages say, look, I got to go. My mama, she ain't no joke. She she ain't she ain't playing. When she told us to jump in some pinto beans, we had to jump in them pinto beans. We ain't had I, uh, them sausages couldn't say, uh uh, mama, I'm not jumping in no pinto beans. But when mama took her hands and smacked the rear end of them sausages, that was a wrap. You had to jump in them pinto beans, and you learned right then and there that mama didn't play. That's what's wrong with these millennials right now. They don't know how to get at their sausages. They let their sausages run them. Come on, y'all. Come on now. Come on. Get get back. Let's put let's put things back in track. You feel me? You feel me? <laughs> Daddy Cook, what you say, Daddy Cook? He say sausages were what? Sausages were home before the street lights came on. You better tell it. You better tell it. You better tell it. Shoot, I love my sausages. I ain't gonna lie to you. I love my sausages. They don't want to get right. I got to get them right. You know what I'm saying? At that particular point in time, back when I was growing up, man, you couldn't, sausages couldn't call the police on my mama because <clears throat> that was all the, my mama say, look here, you on with me when I bought them from the store and you ain't going to tell me what to do with my sausages. And she meant that thing. She meant that thing. Shoot. Sometimes I think the police was scared more so of the project mama than anybody else's mama. Which they ain't played. I'm trying to tell you. Come on, y'all. All right, so we got our sausages, man, who are now obedient. You understand what I'm saying? They doing their thing. They browning up a little bit. They getting there where we need them to get. And that's all we want to do. I'm experimenting, y'all. So it's looking pretty good right now. You understand? It's looking pretty good. Some of this stuff I got in my fridge, man, I'm just trying to hurry up, man, and see how this go and get rid of some of that stuff that's in there. That's all. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. All right. So we got a little color on these sausages. We want to go ahead and do the next best thing. I'm going to take them out. All right, take these sausages. Let's move them on out. Let's move them on out. You know what I want to do? You know what I'm going to do? You know what I'm going to do? All right, this is what I'm going to do, y'all. This is what I'm going to do. This is what I'm going to do. Throw everything back in. Stop playing. Throw everything back in. We experiment. Get these trinities in here for y'all that just came in. The trinity is gonna be the and the celery. That's the holy trinity, New Orleans style. You understand what I'm saying? That's the holy trinity. I'm gonna get that on up in there. And while I got that going, I want to do something else too, y'all. Hold on, hold on. I got to do this, y'all. 
Hold on, I gotta do something else. Let me grab some garlic right quick. That that might work with that too. Let me grab some garlic. Oh yeah, I go in the fridge. Hold on, y'all. I'm coming. Hold on. Let me show y'all something real quick. Two things you can do: make things, make life easy for you. Make life easy for you. You can get you some cloves of garlic, just like this right here. I keep mine in the fridge. I buy them just like this. Or you can go ahead and get you some of these jarred minced garlic that's already chopped up for you. Make life easy. You know that's what I want to do. I want to make life easy, and I'm just gonna take. Some in here, that right there with the tongue, dump it in there. Folks, y'all look, I ain't got time, I ain't got time to be trying to chop no garlic. Some of y'all got time, I ain't got time right now. I ain't got time. I told y'all I'm trying to hurry up. Some of y'all got things to do and my shrimp is in there. And my shrimp just can't be sitting around here, man, playing, playing games. You know what I'm saying? So, you got that going. Got that going. Now, is it traditional to cook like gumbo in a skillet? Because if y'all don't know, everything I dang near do, I do in a skillet. All right, hold on. Check this right. Lord have mercy. That one cup of rice then shammed on me. Y'all, let me, let me show y'all what, what happened to my rice. I got to do rice all over again. Let me show y'all what happened to my rice. But... Meantime, in between time, let me get this going. Now, this is what I want to do real quick. All right? I want to do this real quick. Because that's enough of that. Told y'all my shrimp is in there. I got to hurry up. I got to hurry up. All right? That's what I want to do. Put that in there. All right. Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Where we at? Come on, y'all. Here we go. Here we go. I had to find this baby, I had to find it. I'm gonna get some of this here chicken broth. Get some chicken broth. All right, I'm gonna pull this on up in there. Gotta hurry up, gotta hurry up. Can't, can't wait, can't wait. Yeah, I know some of y'all be like, man, that shrimp is gonna be rough and tough and everything else. Well, if that be the case, I'm experimenting. Let me do this. Let me back them on up out of here. Let me back them on out, see? I told y'all, boy, this is Ray Mack right here, baby. Let me back the shrimp on out then. I hear y'all. Y'all act like I can't hear you. I can't read your comments, but I can hear you. We got that telepathy going on up here. Is that what they call it? That's how they say it. Telepathy. Mental thinking. I can read your thoughts from afar. Is that what it is? Huh? Because I don't want my shrimp to be tough. There ain't no more shrimp in there. All right. So we got that in there. We got the broth in there going. That's about how much I want. This is a mess, y'all. Let me show y'all what happened to my rice. Look at this. Look at this. That one cup of rice seasoned up. Look. Oh, look. That's crazy, ain't it? Do over. Do over. What's that, book? You want to do me a favor? Yeah. Put this in the fridge at the bottom of the refrigerator. Can you do that for me? Here, put this in there too while you at it. And I say welcome. At the bottom of the drawer. Open the bottom of the drawer, put it in there for me, okay? I got my stove, man. Which one? At the bottom, Which right one? at the bottom. The, either one at the bottom. Open the bottom drawer and put it in there. You got it? Yeah. Yeah, put it in the bottom, yeah. Let me do this right over. I'm gonna these ones in the healthy and then the other one in the yeah, I went to go see my girlfriend today. Y'all, my wife just asked me, who am I dressed to impress? Did I go see my girlfriend today? And I told her, yeah, I, I went to go see my girlfriend today. Papa, I just dropped this on the floor. You just dropped it in the floor? Put it right here, baby. Because I'm going to do something like wash that mug off because I ain't got time to lose in that right there. Don't worry about it. I got it. Thank you, baby. Oh, shrimp. No, you ain't touching my shrimp. You can go on about your business now. Go around me. Go around, around me. Go around me. That's right. You ain't touching my shrimp. Keep going. You're a little too close. You keep going. You're a little too close. I got things to do here. I ain't got time to be playing. Can I have some? No, girl. When I'm done, yeah, you can. But right now, go on back over there. I got things to do now. I ain't got time to be playing. I'm going to see Reverend. Oh, go ahead. Um, 
You better not get them shoes muddy. And tie them up. And stop walking on them laces. All right, y'all. Here we go again. I got to make this rice one more time. And y'all already seen how I season the rice up. This time, I'm going to put eight minutes on the rice. Because, man, I'm thinking that I'm fixing like two to three cups of rice when I got one cup in there. So, I'm going to tone it down a little bit in the microwave. All right, so we got the microwave going again with the rice. I told y'all, experiment. Hey, Cherie, look in that. You see that little container in there that got some brown stuff in it? That's my girlfriend. Lord, have mercy. Ladies, how is it when you, how do y'all feel when y'all husband or boyfriend go out and then the first thing you, you do when you see him and you ask him this question here, who do you go see, your girlfriend? Do y'all ladies do some of that? Because I know one that does, my wife. She does that. <laughs> but look, y'all, let me show y'all something real quick. All right. Some of y'all do, some of y'all don't. But I'm going to show y'all what I do. Now, with this gumbo, you always make your roux, all right? You make your roux. Some people got ways of making their roux, like straight out, where they can cook it in the stove. I mean, cook it on top of the stove with flour, equal parts of flour, equal parts of oil, and they they cook it down. Some cook it in a brown color, some cook it all the way to where it's like a chocolate color, even a dark color. One thing that I like doing, y'all, I'm going to share with y'all. If y'all are ever frying chicken, if you are ever frying chicken, and that stuff that's at the bottom of your chicken pan, instead of you throwing it away, save it. Put it in a container like this and put it in the fridge. The only thing that you're throwing away is brown roux. You're throwing away your roux that's already been cooked up for you and served with a lot of flavor. That's all. So the next time you fry chicken and you see that stuff at the bottom, get your little Chinese food takeout container. You know what I'm saying? Wait till your grease is hot. Strain your grease out. Some of y'all throw away your grease. I ain't throwing away no grease, y'all. I reuse my grease till I can't use it again ever in life. And then I take my brown roux, put it in this, put it in the fridge, let it keep for a couple of months. And then when I fry up a batch of chicken again, I restock it. So... I got a tablespoon right here. Like I'm saying, I'm experimenting. I never made gumbo before. And looking at this, I probably need about two to three tablespoons. But I'm going to try one first and see how we go. All right. Then I'm going to dump in one more. One more. One more. Now I'm just going to mix this right on up. I'm going to let this thing cook on. There we go. Hey, we got Chef Ricardo cooking in the building. Look here, I know who y'all know who Chef Ricardo is. If y'all don't know who Chef Ricardo is, I'm telling you right now, something is wrong with y'all, man. That's one of the baddest, one of the baddest mm, Caribbean cooks on this side of the earth. All right? Y'all go check out my man, Chef Ricardo, man. If you want some of that good old, man, I'm talking about jerk recipes from jerk seasoning from jerk um, um, chicken to jerk anything, and not just jerk, some of the best Caribbean dishes out here from the planet Earth. And then he got some of the best, man, um, healthy drink concoctions that you could fix up and keep a body healthy. That's the man you need to go over there and check out, man. And then a lot of us don't know nothing about festival bread. If you want to, <laughs> good God, I got happy when I said festival bread. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. If y'all want to know how to cook festival bread, Go check out Chef Ricardo. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, you're going to love that, that man's channel over there when you want to cook you some jerk, some um, Caribbean food, Jamaican food. Yes, Lord. Chef Ricardo, welcome, my brother. Welcome, my brother. It's an honor having you up over here. Now, we got this cooking, y'all. Look at this here. Look at this here. Thickening up. 
Now the thing that I want to do, because the only thing that we put seasoned in was on these shrimps. Now I'm gonna do something that might be a little different. I'm gonna take this here. I'm gonna take this here, put a little pepper in it. I want a little pepper. All right, just a little pepper. Now, before I add salt to this, before I add salt to this, before I add salt, I just want to take me a little bit of this here, Spain spices, and just add just a little bit. You understand? And I do love this here garlic and nerd, so I just want to add just a little bit, not too much. And I want to give this a whirl. Now, before I add any sodium to this, now I don't know if I want to add some Cajun Creole seasoning or some of that Louisiana seasoning. Well, I feel like seasoning. Seasoning. <laughs> but I want to add where we at? Where we at? Now, I seen a YouTuber use this. And for those of y'all that know, I love some Norris. I swear to God, I love some Norris. You understand? I love this Norris. I love it, I love it, I love it. And if my man Chef Ray is in the building, I want to say, Chef Ray, what's up? Because you're the one who I seen use this right here. That's JP um, cooking. You understand? Who JP? I'm going to try this here. Pop a seal on it. He went to the stove. And I just want to add just a little bit of that there in there, just a little bit right there, right there. Yes, you want some of my gumbo. I ain't never made gumbo in my life, but look at this right here. Look at this right here. Let me check my rice. I don't want my rice getting messed up again. That's gumbo, Papa? Mm-hmm. I love gumbo. About four minutes. I love gumbo. Alright, that one cup of rice, y'all, is coming along. And now I'm gonna just taste this, man, just to see how the salt gonna be up in this. Just give it a little taste. Just a little little taste. Let me just taste it. Oh my word. Oh Jesus! That's good. That's good. That's good. That's your first time hey, trying gumbo? You want to try this book? You want to try it? You sure? You want to try it? I want to try the shrimp. You ain't going to try my shrimp right now. Mm-mm. See, see how they do? See how they do? That's to see how they do? So I'm just cooking this a little bit, man, just to make this, let this thick up a, thick up a little bit and let just a little bit of this. Hey, now I'm gonna show you what's in that drain before I, you start pouring stuff in that drain. That's the reason why I ain't pour nothing in. I wanna show you what's in there. I'm gonna show you what's in there. Yeah, that, that thing ain't clogged up. Show sure ain't what it is. No, it ain't no how what it is. Somebody been in there putting stuff in that sink, but I'm gonna show you before we before I end up taking it out of there. I just want to show you first. No, you need to put a chokehold on some of these kids. All right, that's why I want it right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this down low because it's sticking up. My, my liquid has reduced a little bit. Now what I'm gonna do? Water and soap. I'm gonna let that simmer. Boom. Check on my rice. No hair, no nothing. That's all I can do. Soap let the water. rice continue to cook a little bit. This is good, y'all. This is good. I don't have to add no salt to this. No salt. No salt. As y'all can see, those seasonings did to do and i believe man that this yummy blackened seasoning that yummy seafood seasoning add a little flavor to this here pan as well you feel me and i mean y'all if y'all can just see the color of this here oh my god look at that look what that roux did i'm telling you y'all keep that chicken roux man that's in the bottom keep that chicken roux that's in the bottom don't get rid of that stuff 242 of y'all right now in the building man hit that like button i gotta taste this one more time i got to i got to i got to see how easy that was that was easy y'all experiment let me taste it let me taste it let me taste it let me taste it
That's just mad flavor right there. That's just mad flavor right there. Did you taste the sausage? That's just mad flavor. You taste the sausage? I'm about tempted to put a little bit of butter in there. Just a little butter to make it rich. I gotta get some. I gotta get some butter, y'all. Hold on. Papa, did you taste the sausage? Did I taste the sausage? Yeah, did you taste it? Hold on, y'all. I gotta get a little butter in here just to make it rich. I don't wanna, I just want just a little bit of butter, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. That's a little bit, girl. Just a little bit just to make it rich. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Now we're gonna throw these shrimps up in there. Because that power the power's off. The power's off. The power's off. Get all the rest of the juices in there. Now I can throw that little plate away. Yes. Yes, get it in there. Get it in there. Them onions, pepper, and celery just smell so good. Will I make this again? The answer is, will I ever make this again? The answer is yes, yes, yes. yes. Yes, yes, yes. Don't bite it. The answer is, will I ever make this again? Good. What you doing? Look, you gotta take that over there, cause you interfering with my life. Take it over there. See how kids get y'all? I told y'all, boy. Hi. If your sausages ain't acting right, you better put something on them. What? Another sausage. Come over here and sit down. Do something to your sausages right now. Do something sausage. to your sausages. What type of sausage is that? That's a smoked sausage right there. Mm. Originally, they used like andouille sausages, but I'm just eating this rice, y'all. <laughs> Y'all gotta forgive me. I'm over here eating the rice. I ain't even. <laughs> Why are you eating your <laughs> mm. Okay. Enough of the rice. Uh, All right, let's plate this up. No. Let's plate this up. That ain't that good. Everything is good. Mm. Oh my God. That's so good. All right. Then what we got? Clean spoon. We got our shrimp in there. Y'all only cook for like one minute in the beginning. And the only seasoning that I really put on these shrimps was this here yummy seafood seasoning. You know what I'm saying? Taste of New Orleans. If you really want to try this seasoning, go right here. Try Go right here. Y'all look here. You won't be disappointed. You will not ever, ever, ever be disappointed. I'm telling you right now. All right. That's the other seasoning, yummy. You know what I'm saying? Taste of New Orleans. Blackened seasoning. All right, same thing. If you really want to know anything about this, here it is. I'm going to give you a phone number. You can even call them direct. Area code 504 500 Call them, man. You know what I mean? Ask them about their seasoning. Trust and believe me. <laughs> Stuff good. This stuff good. And then I also blended it in a little bit with some of this here garlic and nerd Spain spice. Go to spainspice.com if you want to try them. Then I also tried it with some of these spices. Spain spice, spainspice.com if you want to try them. That's it, y'all. And I also put in some of this here. You know what I'm saying? Thanks to my boy Chef Ray over there at JP. You know what I'm saying? I might be butchering up Chef Ray's um, YouTube channel name. But check out, check this out right here. This is some good stuff. And for the roux, roux was simple. Frozen, not frozen, but this right here is, is um, chicken, chicken flour at the bottom of your frying pan. Keep this stuff, y'all. Don't throw it away. I'm telling you. Don't throw it away. And look at the, boy, if y'all can see the brown. Look at that brown in this roux. And then I just took a little dollop of butter, just a little dollop of butter to give it a little richness. But let me try it. Let me try it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta try it. Gotta try it. 
Oh my God, magnificent. Then we got that smoked sausage in there, some shrimp with the Trinity, bell peppers, onions, and celery. And I'm about to plate this up, y'all. I got to plate it up. Let me plate it up. Hold on. All right, so I'm going to do this. The question is, will I ever do it again? All right, so let me move some of this junk, y'all. We're about to plate this thing up. We're about to plate it up. We're about to plate it up. We're about to plate it up. And all right. So, question, question, should I use this dish, right, question, before I do this, <sighs> question, now, I'm only asking y'all this because I got to take a picture of this, man, and put this on Instagram, you feel me, so, should I use this dish or should I just keep it ghetto and use that? Because either one would work, but I want to get y'all's opinion. What y'all think? This would be number one. This would be number two. So which one should I use? Number one or number two? Number one. We love number one, y'all. Or number two. Number one or number two. Number one or number two. A number one, a number two. A number one, a number two. A number one, a number two. I know y'all been chilling with me, man. I know y'all like this motherfucker right here is crazy. Okay, I'm gonna go with number two. All right. So, I'm going to plate this up. Gumbo. Now, here's a question I'm going to ask y'all again. Because I say, man, I love coming over here because y'all got to help me out. Should I put like one scoop here in the middle? Or should I put two scoops on the outside? And just put the gumbo in the middle? Or should I just put one big stack of rice in the middle? And just later on... The gumbo. Let me hear what y'all got to say before I do it. In the middle, I see middle. I see outside. Candy say outside. And it say fill with the rice and then the gumbo in the middle. Okay, fill with the rice and then with the gumbo in the middle. All right, so in the middle. All right, the food is too delicious to be on the paper plate. Ooh. All right, rice in the middle. In the middle, rice in the middle, middle, bum in the middle, put it in the middle, uh, 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 the middle, put it, put it in the in, in the middle, rice in the middle, bum, 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 middle, rice, okay, in the middle. We're gonna do it, y'all, rice in the middle. Let's put our rice in the middle. Scoop our rice in the middle of the plate. Put your eyes in the middle. There it is, y'all. There it is. That's good. In the middle. Oh. Matter of fact, that's rice in the middle for that. Now, we're going home version. Put your eyes. In the middle, put your eyes in the middle, put your eyes 
in the middle. All right, so now let's go ahead and ladle this thing up. Now, should I just put should I put some of the juice on first, or just scoop everything up at one time, drape it, or just place individual pieces? Y'all got to help me now. Put your eyes in the middle. Put your eyes in the middle. Let me put some of this here. Put your eyes. All right, let me do it like this because y'all know the shrimp got to be the star, though. Shrimp got to be a star. Shrimp saying, uh-uh, I'm the last one that's coming out of this here pot. The, the, the sausage is not coming before me. That's what the shrimp is saying. The sausage will not be before me. But I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Put your... Rise in the middle. Put your eyes in the middle. Put your eyes in the middle. Put your eyes, your eyes. In the middle, and for picture, for picture's sake, put your eyes in the middle and serve it up on a plate. Put your eyes in. All right, so that's, yeah, that's cool. That's about as ugly as going to get. But that's my first time ever making gumbo. Gumbo. Now I got to take a picture. First time ever making gumbo. Put your eyes. In the middle, put your eyes in the middle, put your eyes, your eyes, your eyes in the middle. And there it is, y'all. That's my gumbo. And and in my ghetto plate, which I can smash right now. Put your eyes in the middle. Put your eyes, your eyes, your eyes in the middle. Put your eyes in the middle. And eat it all, eat it all on your plate. Put your eyes. Yes, Lord. All right, so, Rag, this is what I learned, y'all. You don't always have to make a video. You just get out there and cook. That's all. Just get out there and cook. Sometimes, man, you, you could be an epic fail or... It could be good. So this is my thing. I made gumbo for the first time ever. Y'all was here to see me make this gumbo, man. I thank y'all so much, man, for checking this out. So this is the plate right here, gumbo. And this is what I'm supposed to take my picture with. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to try to clean this up a little bit. Hopefully I can still get a good shot. I don't see no use of throwing no parsley on that because the green peppers and the celery already put out enough greenery anyway. But what I'm thinking, I could go ahead and just throw a little seasoning, put a little dab of like, 
um, how can I say, um, of water with a little dab of something right here wet, throw a little seasoning on it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just make it look something. But this here, this look better than that. I ain't going to lie, y'all. That do look better than that. No bull crap. So give y'all a little close up on how my gumbo turned out. Check it out, y'all. Hold on. Put your rice. I got. I know y'all shaking. And there's my gumbo. Put your rice, bro. That's not gumbo. Then tell me what it is, chop. Cause I need to know, brother. I told you this is my first time experience. I told y'all I'll go get somebody like that. What it is, chop? What it is, bro? That's not gumbo. Then what is it, chop? <laughs> chop. What is it? Chopping and grilling with KC. Tell me what it is there, bro. I told y'all, this is your basic Ray Max kitchen and grill. First time ever in life. Gumbo. So, Chops, tell me what it is. Put your rice in the middle. You see it, Chop? Chop, I'm waiting on you. Tell me what it is, Chop. If that ain't gumbo, Chop, tell me what it is. Tell me, Chop, because I'm waiting. Chops, where you at? Looks like something good. That's what's up. That's what's up. Chop, where you at? Where you at? Talk to me, Chop. That's why I'm doing this experimentation. If you feel that there's something that I did wrong, then this right now is the time to go ahead and tell me what it is. Tell me what it is, tell me what it is, tell me what, tell me. Cherie, you want to try my gumbo? You want to try it? Well, you need to come on, wait a minute. Let me see if I can scoop some off this plate. Tap, I don't know, I think that might be the plate right there that I might want to keep to take a picture of. Can y'all hear me now? Can y'all hear me now? Can you hear me? Do we got sound? Do we got sound? Okay. Okay. I'm going back in for a little taste, y'all. I got to get the backside because I want to take a picture of this plate. This plate look better than that plate. No bull crap. So I'm going to try to get in the backside of this plate just a little bit. I don't want to hurt the photo. <laughs> this shit good. <laughs> oh, jambalaya with gumbo twist. That's what it is, Chop. Hey, I can get down with that, Chop. I can get down with that. No bull crap, bro. I can get down with that. You know what I'm saying? Is it because I ain't got the okra in there? What is it? Is that one of the reasons? Because I ain't got the jalapeno in there? Which one is it? It's too thick. What you mean it's too thick? What you mean it's too thick? That just now hold on, wait a minute. Hold on, wait a minute. Hold on. Who said it's too thick? Miss Kit. Uh, Miss Cat. I gotta look at Miss Cat. Miss Cat got to see my face. Hold on. Miss Cat. Miss Cat said it's too thick. Hold on. Sheree. Can I have your permission to talk to Miss Cat real quick? Okay. Miss Cat. I had to ask my wife first. Before I could talk to you real quick. So I got her permission, Miss Cat. So let me talk to you real quick. Hey, um, let me wipe this off. Miss Cat, you here? Miss Cat, if you here, put an X up real quick. This is for Miss Cat. Miss Cat, put an X up. I need to talk to Miss Cat. 
She said it's too thick. Okay, there go Miss Cat. Mrs. Cat. Mrs. Cat. Not Miss Cat. MSP. But M R S P Cat. Listen, I got my wife permission to say this, Miss Cat. So I'm not being disrespectful or anything like that because she did give me permission. Just once again, let me ask again. Cherie, do you give me permission to talk to Miss Cat? She gave me permission. So, Miss Cat, I want you to check this one out. You said it's too thick. First of all, I love them thick. Miss Cat, I love them thick. Girl, thick is the way to go. For any guy out there who don't like thick, something wrong with you. I'm just being honest as I could possibly be. I'm just being honest. See, I said if okra was missing, see, that's what I was trying to tell y'all. That's what I tried to say in the beginning, didn't I? I said, this might not be your traditional gumbo, but this is an experiment with everything that I got in my kitchen to put my own twist on my shrimp and sausage gumbo. But Miss Cat, back to you, Miss Cat. Every man should like thickness in their life. You understand? I've been married to one of the beautiful thickness, thick woman man for about 25 years. So tell you. I know you ain't talking about a woman, you're talking about the gravy, but I'm just saying, every man should have what we call a thick piece of meat. And I'm telling you right now, love your thick piece of meat. If I was a club owner, I would open up a club for BBW women, anybody who love BBW women, right? And I say this, man, realistically. My club would be for BBWs only. For any guy who love a big, thick, rich, not rich, rich is talking about money, but a big, thick woman, I think that you should come to my club, raise BBW club. And now, if you are undercover brother who like BBW women but don't want to come through the front door but you want to sneak in the back door, you're never getting in. You're never getting in. Now, for all of my ladies out there who are not thick, you understand what I'm saying? You would have to first step on the scale and there would have to be certain a certain criteria for you if you wanted to come into my BBW club. You understand what I'm saying? You would have to, that would have to, if you ain't at a certain weight, I'm going to have a buffet that's going to have fat back, collard greens, pinto beans, some candy yams, some, some turkey wings, some fried um, pork jowl, and all that other kind of stuff. The requirement is if you're not at that, if you don't meet the criteria of the scale weight, then you could go to our buffet, eat the buffet, have to come back and weigh yourself again. Then you could come on up in that club if you meet that certain criteria. But if you are not a beautiful BBW thick, you can't come in. Enough of that. So that was for you, Mrs. Cat. Every time I hear the word fat, or if, if it ain't thick, I always bring up that right there letting you know that I love everything that's thick and fat. Because I have a beautiful one, and I've been with this one for 25 years, and she is thick. And I could just eat her right on up, just like I'm eating this right here. Yes, Lord. So good and tasty. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Good God of Jesus. Thank God for thick women. Hey, Mrs. Jones. How you doing? How you doing? Sister Joan, how are you doing? this is my creation. Look what I created. It's time for me to get up off this thing. Girl, what your grandma just say to you? What did I tell y'all earlier about your sausage? Y'all need to handle your sausage. When your sausage don't listen to you, do something about it. But anyway, all right. What's the sausage? Let me go ahead, y'all, and I say, I say thank y'all so much, man, for checking out this here um, um, experiment for the gumbo. And some people would say this is not gumbo, but I understand where you're coming from. If you're from New Orleans, if you're from Louisiana, and if you critique this here, trust and believe me, hey, I will listen. I will take advice. The things, like I said, man, that... This recipe does not have the authentic ingredients that the original will have. Just like the smoked sausage that I use, some of them use their very own andouille sausage that they create there in Louisiana or elsewhere. This does not have okra in it. For one, I hate slimy okra. I'm just being honest with y'all. Always have, always will. The only way that I can really eat okra, if it's fried. Now, another thing that's that's not in here that will make this authentic 
is that I used this beautiful seasoning on my shrimp. But the creator of this is from New Orleans. So they know what they're talking about when it comes down to this here seasoning. You understand what I'm saying? They know what they're talking about. So that's the whole key. So now I tell y'all this. A lot of people out there, they put out southern dishes, but they'll never get a rebuttal from me saying that that's not southern. My thing of it is, is that if you call it southern, if you like it, then it's southern. Do your thing. This is one of these quick and easy recipes that I sh that I did as an experiment. And I ain't going to lie to you, y'all. This sucker turned out pretty dang good. Will I try this again? You daggone right. Everything is seasoned all the way to the daggone rice. <laughs> I'm serious. I got to get one more back shot. I'm going to tear the back of this up. Because I want to put this plate on the photo, too. You going to let me try it? Girl, I'm going to let you try it. You want to try it now? Come and try it. You got to get up and try it. Who, me? Ah, that's good. That's good. I'm thinking, should I try that, put that one in a photo? Or should I put this one in a photo? Number one in the photo. Or number two in the photo. I think that one should go good in the photo. I ain't going to lie, y'all. That's number one in the photo. Or number two. You say both. She finna tag this one then. Well, look, y'all. I'm finna get up out of here because... Wait a minute. She got to do a taste test. God, I wish I could take a picture of that one. Jesus. Well, forget we a picture. Y'all seen the video. This is picture enough for me. We're just going to smash these things. That's a picture enough right now. So, I'm going to let her try this. Come on, baby. Try that. You let me know what you think. Get in there, girl. Try it, girl. What you think? What you think? Huh? That's good. Say it's good. I can do the ultimate taste test. I like test. flavor. You like flavor? Mm -hmm. uh, you like that? Mm -hmm. I Girl. can do the ultimate test. Mm -hmm. Do I get rewarded tonight? Possibly. Possibly. See, that's sad, y'all. You got to cook in order to get... Mm-hmm. But that's good, ain't it? Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. What'd you say? You say, mm. Uh. See there? Even the grandbaby said, mm. Uh. That's I give it ten out of no. I give it one hundred. Huh? See, see that that plate right there was not supposed to be fixed up. You say where all the shrimp at? Hold on, I got to take a picture of this one. You didn't. You going? You gorging in that one? You gorging in that one? Happy wife, happy life. Lord Jesus, I heard Phil Riddick say that one time too. Is it good though? Papa, I give it one hundred out of ten. Would you eat that again? Yes, I would. Mm -hmm. Lord, I thank you for making this possible. It's a little spicy. It's a little spicy. Where you get spicy at when I ain't putting no... See, you did that on the other recipe, but you ain't going to do it on this one. It is. Where you get spicy at? Spicy. It, is it spicy? Because I ain't taste no spice to it. I mean, it's a good spice. Is it good, good? It's good, good, y'all. It's good, good, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't like oh, it's so good. It's so good. Yeah, she did say that too. Um, machine, machine. Lord, I, I can't even see the name. I can't get the name. She said it was a hundred out of ten. Lord, it's so good. Get it, girl. You ain't gonna, you, you gonna stop eating it. Yeah, it's good. So I'm gonna get something. Am I gonna get some tonight? Your granddaughter, right? I'm talking about some of that. I'm talking about some of that. See that y'all head is in the gutter. Y'all head is in the gutter. When I say am I gonna get some? No, cause me and my grandma gonna eat it all. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I did say some. I did a mukbang on that today, girl. I'm gonna check out your mukbang too. Keeping up with the Joneses. Look, y'all do me a favor. Do me a favor. Go check out Keeping Up With The Joneses, y'all. Pretty please. Go check out Keeping Up With The Joneses. Hey, Chopping and Grilling with KC. Hey, man, I thank you anyway for your criticism, my, my boy. For real, for real. You almost hurt my feelings. I almost started crying. You know what I'm saying? I kind of felt like Mike Jackson, Michael Jackson when they say, when he asked Tito, say, Tito, can you give me some tissue? I almost started to cry, but then I say, no. I say, don't cry because Chopping and Grilling might be right because he is... Chopping and grilling, where you from? 
Chopping and grilling, where you from? What's the other stuff? It's not gumbo. That's um jambalaya. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. More like a jambalaya. More like a jambalaya. <laughs> with, I think you might be right. You might be on to something chopping and grilling with KC. You might be on to something, bro. You might be on to something. My daddy, my grandma brought me some something that kind of tastes like this. No, she didn't devour that one. Good, I boo. Yes, 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 yes. No, man, ain't no use for apologies, step. bro. Hey, we having a good time over Pass here today, step, man. Papa. And I say thank you so much for coming on into this here family there, bro, for real. I'm going to go over there to your channel, man, and see what you got popping off on yours. And for those of y'all who are here, you know what I'm saying? Let's do this, man. Really, really support one another, man, that's on YouTube. All right, for all of us, man, that are content creators, um, put an X up right now in the comment section. Look at this, y'all. Gone. For all of us that's content creators got right now. Who cheated on the shrimp, though? Who got cheated on the shrimp? Because we didn't get but two. See, that's what I was going to tell me. I got to take a picture of this one. We're going to take a picture. I ain't about that life right now. But look, y'all, look. For those of y'all that are content creators right now, man, please, I'm begging y'all right now, man. Hold on, should we don't dig into that one? I got to take a picture for real, for real. And, um... Y'all check out these people who have X's on their um in their comment because they do have like um YouTube channels and they always say like I heard this today come from a man Tyler Smoke and and uh, Tyler's Fire and Smoke he said take a um snapshot and then look back at your snapshot and go check out some of the um channels that have the X so I like that man that was a good good that was a great tip. So I'm using that tip and that tip came from my man Tyler's um, Fire and Smoke Cooking. So y'all need to definitely go check out my man Tyler's Smoke and um, Cooking. And then while y'all at it, um, after y'all leave there, go check out Chopping and Grilling with KC. That's if y'all like grilling food because I'm definitely going over there to um, show, show the brother mad support. You know what I'm saying? And um, if y'all go check out um, Auntie on uh, um, Maddie TV as well. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of people on here, man. For this real, for real. So let's do this. Let's support fellow YouTubers. Now. Let's do all that we could possibly do to help one another out. You know what I'm saying? No matter what we do, make sure, man, mm, 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 mm. your kitchen your way. Thank you, Aunt Fee. Aunt Faye. Love you, Aunt Faye. Aunt Faye is in the building. I ain't seen Aunt Faye in a minute. Hey, girl. Hey, Aunt Faye. How you doing? How you doing? Hey, um, um, be custom. Um, May, what's going on? 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 Candy Creation. I need to go check that one out. Y'all look here. Go check out Be Custom Made um, Cake and Candy Creations. I need to go check that channel out. I'm going back over here, man, and check out some channels that I haven't seen in See, a Papa, minute. This is what it gave you, the spice. That what gave me the spice? What These gave me the spice? Gave, this one gave you the spice, man. This one gave you the spice. That one. You love girl, I tell you. But that's what we do. One and all, all let's support one another. But and um, y'all give me about two more minutes. Give me about she, she good. Give me about two more minutes. Two more minutes. Let's support one another if we can. Let's follow Aww. one another. I got y'all, man. Let me get y'all off this food for real and talk to y'all face to face for real. Let's um support one another and let's um try our best, man, if we can, if we're able. To follow wow. each and every one who we don't do not follow, you know what I'm saying? Because we got a lot of people, a lot of great content creators that's on YouTube. You know what I mean? And I'm a mad supporter of supporting a lot of people. You feel me? And I always say this: if you guys or girls need help, man, with y'all channel to where I get, if there's something I could do to help support you, please, please, please contact me, reach out to me, or whatever. And I always say the best way that you could reach out to me is on Instagram. Ray Matt's Kitchen and Grill. And I tell you, man, I just want to be supportive um, in the best way possible. You, know, you see what I'm saying? I just want to be the best way. I want to do the best thing I can do to help other folk out. Because there had to be a time in my life where somebody helped me. But I always want to be that person that can help somebody else too. So I got another um, video that's coming out Saturday. And it's another um, collaboration, video collaboration. I would never get tired of doing video co collaborations with fellow YouTubers. And I always say to myself, man, if there's somebody out there who I could help, that's one way that I know that I can help them, regardless, no matter what. 
and I don't look for anything out of it. You understand what I'm saying? So it's not like I'm doing collaborations with huge YouTubers. I'm doing you. I'm doing collaborations with smaller YouTube channels because I want them to be. I want them to be recognized. I want them to be noticed. You understand what I'm saying? I want them to hurry up to climb that ladder as well. So that's what I'm doing, and that's what I'm gonna always continue to do, and be that genuine um, person that I really am, no matter what. And another thing too, I'm always gonna support businesses. You know what I'm saying? So if you guys can, guys or gals can. Go out and check these people out on, on Instagram if you have an Instagram channel. You know what I'm saying? These seasonings is off the hook. I'm not joking, y'all. This is some good stuff. <laughs> this is my first time ever trying this here stuff, man. And like you say, yummy, black and seasoning. They're on Instagram. And if you want to try to reach out to these people, you can call them directly at um, area code 504-500-0790. And you could definitely, man, hit them up on, um, um, what's this here? I'm going to try to see if I can get it in there. If you can see it, that right there is the web address. If you want to try to contact them on the web address, do that as well. Beautiful, beautiful. And like we say, man, this is some good stuff. Seafood seasoning is off the hook, off the chain. Y'all saw when I did this live using their products, and they're off the chain. So it's good. I'm about to tear this up. This is what she had left. I'm going to. Mm, is that good, bro? Put it on the cracker. Give me a cracker. Let me put it on the cracker. Can yeah. I try it on the cracker? You want to try it on the cracker? Mm-hmm. Let me Scoop give it you in. my car. Hmm. You try that. How that? I'm going to scoop that. Scoop me one up on the cracker. Hold that thing for me, girl. I'm bridging the gap here. You got to put some rice on it. Mm. Girl, you better stop. Papa, I'm not joking. This is good. That's mine? Can mm -hmm. I? Yeah, Lord. Yeah, Lord. It's good. Mmm. I told you it was good. You know why I got taste. <laughs> I got taste. Y'all look here. That's a winner. I can taste the tomato. That's a winner. Onion. I'm out of here. Look here. Tomato and onion, pepper. I mean, not pepper. Okay. All right. Before I go, I'm going to say this. Love and not hate. Love somebody. You a sauce. And hate nobody. That's what I want to tell y'all. Love, love and no not hate. hate. Love somebody and, and hate nobody. Hate. Please vote. Please vote. <laughs> Get your vote out there. Let your vote count for something. Let your vote count for something. Try your best to picture a America that's not divided. I don't know about y'all, but I'm tired of a divided America. I'm tired of a divided America. If that make any sense. Y'all hear me? Y'all hear me? I'm tired of a divided America. Support. Support, y'all. Support black businesses. You know what I'm saying? Do your thing to support black businesses because black entrepreneurs, they're, they're moving. They're on the move. Do that thing, y'all. Support, support, support. You understand what I'm saying? Support black businesses. They're on the move, y'all. Support, support, support. Whatever you can do. Support black businesses. Seriously. No bull crap. There's another YouTube channel, man. Before I go out, look. Before I go, Misha's Corner. She's a YouTuber. You know what I'm saying? And she also makes barbecue sauce. This is her new addition. And she makes seasoning as well. My last video that I did with the ribs. Go over there, man. Check that video out. See what kind of creations Misha has created. And also, support black businesses. You understand? Do that, y'all. Support, support, support. You know what I mean? Regardless, support. Love, y'all. Love and not hate. Peace. Be good. Oh, be custom made cakes and candy creations. Go check them out because I'm about to head that way. Matter of fact, hold on. We about to see. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. We about to see. Hold on. Let's see what they got going on. 
Y'all look. Just hold on. Bear with me for one minute, y'all. I got to see what B custom made is all about here. Cause they got me, got my mind thinking. Now I got I got to see for myself. Do book. Mm -hmm. The food good for real, huh? Mm -hmm. You think I had to do that again and take another photo. Forget them dang on taking pictures of the plates. Why do you even take pictures of the plates? Because I can put it on Instagram. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what B Custom Made is all about, y'all. All right. Let's see, B Custom Made. B. All right, y'all, go with me to the computer right quick. We're going to go over here and we're going to say B, B Custom. Let's see if they're going to pop up. B Custom. Where we at? I can't see a lick. I can't see a lick. Be custom made. I wonder if they got the channel up like that. Let's just see. There they go. So they only got six subscribers and two videos. All right. So six subscribers and two videos. Video is 30 seconds long and 13 seconds long. Be custom made. Let me tell you this right quick. All right. Let me tell you this right quick. Don't sell yourself short. You understand? If you got a product out there that you're trying to sell and you don't want to reveal it, keep it secret, do all you can, or whatever. But you could definitely use this platform, you know what I'm saying, for a money maker. So if you could, you know what I'm saying, you want to step your game up a little bit, create some videos yeah. with making something that you really are not selling on your platform. You know what I mean? And share the recipes. Because you want to get your name out there. You know what I'm saying? Six subscribers is all you got. I'm going to make it seven because I'm going to subscribe right now. And not only that, I'm going to hit that notification bell. And I'm hoping that you could come up, you know, making more videos because the only video that you made last, I might be wrong. Let me go and hit this because I just see. Okay. So four weeks ago is what the last time you made videos. Now, trust and believe me, you can definitely use this platform for your business. And then on top of that, set yourself up for success by allowing you to get paid off of this too as well. You know what I'm saying? Generate money off of this as well. So if you could come up with some recipes that you could share with the people and make videos out of them, showing video tutorials, this will help you in the long run. No doubt. I'm being honest as I could possibly be with you. Seriously. And let's check out my man while, I, while I'm here too. I'm gonna see if, if um what's what's his name? The barbecue, what's his name? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Let me stroll I'm strolling down the list. Chopping, there you go, chopping and grilling. Chopping, chopping and grilling. So chopping and grilling. Okay, with KC. With KC. Let's see what he got. Oh, there you go right there. Chopping and grilling with KC. All right, I'm hitting that subscribe button right now. And I'm also hitting that notification bell. Yes. See what this brother got over here. So five days ago, he did a easy homemade Japanese um, Roman noodle video. My God, I'm going to have to go look at that one too, bro. I'm going to have to go look at that one. That, he looked like he might be a, a, a chef for real, for real. Yes, Lord. So he know what he's talking about. Then he got the best turkey wing, um, turkey wing recipe. How to cook the best smothered turkey wing. I'm going to have to go in and I'm going to check that one out. And then look here, y'all. How to make shrimp. Fried Chinese style rice. Yes, Lord. I'm going over there to check my man out. And then he got how to oven grill, how to oven grill fall off the bone St. Louis ribs. I'm definitely going to check them out. Them look good. It's a bug. Them look good. God told about it. And then he got the best Jamaican jerk chicken recipe. I'm going to have to check that one out, y'all. And see if he got any more videos. 
or the brothers got it going on over there. He got plenty more. So look, how to start a catering business. There you go. So he know what he doing. He know what he doing. He know what he talking about. He know what he talking about. I'm going to have to go over here and pluck my, um, pluck his brain, man, because, hey, for those of y'all who want to know how to start a catering business and you don't, and we're all trying to find ways of, of, of learning, hey, you might want to check out this dude right here, man. I'm telling you. Chopping and grilling with KC. I'm going over there to check him out. I'm definitely going over there to check out his videos. That's part one. Part two, how to handle food, food handler. I'm going to have to check him out. So, KC, I'm, I'm going over there to see what you got going on, brother. I got to pick your brain. That's a good one. All right. Now, for any other YouTuber that's here right now, I'm going to do two. I'm going to do three. I'm going to do three because I haven't been on here for an hour. I'm going to give myself one hour. I'm going to do three, um, girl, hold on. I'm going to do three YouTubers right now. If you a YouTuber and you want me to go ahead, man, and, um, and, um, put yours up here right now so people can see it. I'm, I'm thinking of a number right now. If you a YouTuber, I'm thinking of a number right now from one through 10. And I got the number in my head. From 1 through 10, if you're a YouTuber, put the number up from 1 through 10. That way I don't have to play no, um, I don't have to be biased in my choosing. So I got a number up right now. I got a number, dang, right on the money right there, but you're not a YouTuber. Let's start over, y'all. I got another number. <laughs> it was seven, ain't gonna lie. I got another number right now in my head. Go ahead and pick the number if you are a YouTuber. If you are a YouTube content creator. You tell me what it YouTube is. content creator. And you want me to pull yours up right now. You know what I'm saying? Pick a number. I, from 1 through 10. If you are a YouTube content creator. From 1 through 10. Only content creators. Only content creators. Only content creators. 1 through 10. I got a number in my head. I got a number in my head from 1 through 10. Put it up right now. If you are a YouTube content creator. Uh, 1 through 10. I ain't going to tell you. I'm not a YouTuber. I ain't going to tell you. I'm not even a YouTuber. Well, I am a YouTuber, but... One through ten, a YouTube content creator. One through ten, a one through ten. If you are YouTube content creator, sing a song for me. I don't know. What I don't have a channel though. <laughs> she said, I, I don't do. have a channel. My mommy. Let me just. I think it. I can make something up. What you can make up. Let me give you a beat. Not that. <laughs> I don't know. All right, please read down my content, my Wait, comment. Let me, Let me see. What did you say on your comment? Let's see. Wait, Ray Mac Kitchen I just finished um, going to learn with Yummy and said how you're giving them props and their products. Huh. Blessing, girl. Thank, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate that. I really appreciate that. Stop, Ow. girl. Thank you. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Hey, that's what I'm talking about. Thank you. I really appreciate that. Now, that's mad support. That's mad support. I wish there was a way I could pin stuff like this on the comment. That's mad support right now. I like that. I like that. YouTube content creators. This is what I'm going to do. The first three with the first, the first three content creators that type in the number eight. I mean, you got to be an actual content creator. You know what I'm saying? Not not a subscriber, nothing like that, but an actual content creator. I want to pull it up right now and let people see exactly who you are, what you got going on, so that they can show your channel some love. We got 118 people in here right now. If you haven't gave this video a thumbs up, I'm begging you right now, give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. There they go, y'all. Look, there they go. Look here. That, boy, let me show you something right quick, fam. 
You might have to go back to this video, but we already devoured one plate. We already devoured one plate. We made this here, man, um, shrimp sausage gumbo with this here killer. 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 Dag on seasoning. First time ever trying this seasoning, for real, for real. First time ever trying this seasoning. And when I tell you, man, that this seasoning was off the hook, it's off the hook. No joke. No joke. So look, y'all. Yummy. A taste of New Orleans is in the building. Okay? And you said eight creative thought? Okay, creative. I got you right now. I got you. But let me do this real quick, creative style. I got you. Let me type your number in, your name in right now. Creative, creative style. You got eight up there. You messed me up on that one. Let me see. Put a little eight up there. Creative. And you got. The, how you spelling that? You got me messed up. All messed up. Creative style. And do you got any content? I don't see it. Maybe I hope I ain't put it in here wrong. Nope, I think I put it in here right. Did I? Nope, I got to take that A out. All right, let's see. I still don't see it. Mm. I'm sorry, creative style. I don't see it. Thought you might have. Do you have a YouTube channel? I don't know. I'm sorry about that one. But let me get back to this one right quick. I got to get back to this. For real, for real. And let me see if Yummy is on YouTube. Right quick. Let me see if Yummy on YouTube. Yummy. A taste. A taste of. When I tell you, bro, you. Hold on. Wait a minute. Let me ask a question right quick. Am I talking to, this is for Yummy. Am I talking to a um, male or female? They only got one subscriber. Man, we finna change this. I'm finna put myself up here as a subscriber. Cause I need to be a subscriber for life for this one here, man. So I just subscribed to your channel. And I hit the notification bell. And right now they got like four videos. And what is this? This is. That's wicked right there with the octopus in there. Lord Jesus. But I'm going to tell you something. They seasonings is off the hook. Go to their Instagram page and see exactly what they got going on over there on their Instagram page. I'm telling you. They dropped this in one hour. This stuff is off the hook, y'all. No joke. This seafood seasoning, boy, is no joke. I'm telling you. This blackened seasoning is no joke. This is no joke. Serious. Off the chain. You know what I'm saying? So if you go to their Instagram, check them out. You can order from their Instagram. And then once again, oh, now you can see better. Here you go. There's a phone number. You know what I mean? Contact them. And I tell y'all right now, man, I got to fry this fish. I got to go fry this fish. I got to go fry this fish. And I'm using some of this here on that here, on this fish. I'm going to have me a fish sandwich. See, this is what I'm talking about. I got fish in here. I got to hurry up and go out here and fry. And I'm going to use some of this baby right here on that. But uh, that's my thing. I want to tell them, man, y'all got some good stuff, man. So definitely I'll be doing um, future videos with this right here. You know what I'm saying? And I want to do, like I said, I'm probably end up doing more videos um, using these seasonings. But it won't be just on type of, you know, on seafood or anything like that. 
probably doing this with some vegetables and stuff like that because the flavor profile in this is magnificent. No bull crap at all, man. No bull crap at all. And um, I want to say thank you, man, for allowing me to try this. This this is some real deal. This is the real deal right here. If y'all like I say, if y'all want to try these recipes, man, support support the business. Support the business. Go out and try this right quick. And um, yummy, man. Keep it up. Where we at? Where we at? Can't read my comments. Where we at? Um, throw your Instagram out there if you don't mind, where they can go over there and check you out on Instagram. Let me see. I think that's about it, man. I'm finna get off of this live. You can go to the beginning of this live video, man, and see exactly what I did with your seasonings. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you. One plate gone. I ain't gonna lie. My wife and them, they tore that mug up right there. And I supposed to be taking a picture of this one. It ain't going down. We ain't taking a picture of that one. I'm sorry. I just can't do it. I got to smack this thing. Boy, I got to eat this plate. I'm gonna eat this plate, man, without taking a picture. But I'm gonna make another daggone recipe. Another um, plate of that. And then I possibly would take a picture. But right now, chill. Chill. This stuff is good, bro. I got to go. I ain't going to lie. But future videos will be coming up soon, y'all. So I want to say this. Thank you so much for checking out Raymond's Kitchen and Grill. Junior, you did miss it, Junior. Dang, shame on you, Junior. You shouldn't have missed it, Junior, because there was some great flavors going up in here. But you can go back, man, and look at it in the beginning because I'm finna kill the video right now. I say this in every video, y'all. Love and not hate. Love somebody and hate nobody. And I pray, man, that y'all can go out here, man, in these in these days and time and help somebody that's elderly. You know what I'm saying? Go check out some of our elderly people, man, in our neighborhoods. Um, see if they need anything. Be a blessing unto them. Because um, trust and believe me, y'all, they need somebody to look out for them as well. And we're the only ones who could do that. I love y'all, man, for wherever it's worth. And then again, on Instagram, check out Yummy, man. You know what I'm saying? A taste of New Orleans. Check out their blackened seasoning. Buy this stuff, man. I'm telling you, you won't be disappointed. This is no lie, no joke, for real, for real. And then you go, go over and check out some of their seafood seasoning as well. I guarantee you, you will not be disappointed. When I say a taste of New Orleans, these people are from the heartlands of New Orleans, Louisiana. How do I know that? Because it says so right here. Hold on, let me see. Can you see it? It says so right there. Right there. Right there. So they know what they're talking about. All right? That's what's up. And y'all be good out this morning. I got to go. Peace. Because I got to eat this, y'all. Matter of fact, I got to eat this. I was going to take a picture, y'all. <laughs> it ain't no use to take a no picture of this. <laughs> I'm sorry. It ain't no use to take a no picture of this. I ain't gonna bull crap you, y'all. It ain't no use to take a no picture of this. This this deserves a smackdown, a beatdown, like right now. Like right now. You know what I'm saying? This deserves a beatdown, like right now. And my granddaughter had me eating this with crackers. That's how good it is. You can eat this daggone thing with dang near anything. This deserves a beat down. Let me get in there. Let me get in there. Let me get on up in there. Let me get on up in there. How you gonna do it, Red? We're gonna do it like this. We're gonna do it like that. Mm, 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 mm. Lord, how much? Look at them shrimps. You can get better this shrimp. You can get better this shrimp. Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm-hmm. 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 I gotta go, y'all. Bye.